Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Funky Diabetic One um, here after a pretty long break between videos. Man, life's been just crazy lately. Um, work has been so intense. It's like not allowing me time to watch videos and comment, and uh, haven't even been doing much in terms of TTMing. Just because like projects and things have been coming up, it's been really crazy. Um, and then I come home, you know, I spend as much time as I can with my daughter before she goes to bed after being in daycare all day. So anyway, things have been nuts and I've been having trouble finding a minute to make a video here and, and even to watch videos. So I apologize yet again. I know I do that a lot, but I want you guys to know that, that I do care and I watch as many videos as I can. I don't always comment because, oh, that's another thing. My phone is a piece of garbage and, you know, it forces clothes on me all the time. So that's pretty much how it's been. <laughs> Quick recap here, I got a bunch of TTMs, a uh, YouTuber package, and actually two YouTuber packages. Uh, but I'll start with this, I busted a pack of this for some reason. I keep trying to get a good hit out of this product. This is this year's Artifacts. Uh, I got a Paul Stastny jersey, dual jersey, uh, blue version, numbered out of 135. If anybody could use that, let me know. Uh, and then a while back I sent this card to... Wesker Griff, because he was going to the Orioles Fan Fest, and he was hoping that maybe Willie Randolph would be there signing, because I really need that for my set. So, Eddie, thanks for trying. I know Willie didn't show up. He's not even with the team this year. Really appreciate that. Sent me back my stamp and my envelope. And he also sent me some cool stuff, and this is a just because. Didn't have to do this, Eddie. I really appreciate it, though. Here's a nice uh, Jordan Shipley. It's like a prime jersey, or a patch, maybe, which is awesome. That's going to go in my patch PC. I'm going to have to modify that to the Patch Prime Jersey PC because some things like this are are, are pretty damn cool, and I'm going to include stuff like this. Um, and he also included this uh, Josh Freeman jersey card out of Gridiron Gear, numbered out of 250. And if that wasn't enough, he also sent me this Brad Burgesson autograph. Uh, so that's awesome. I don't have a whole lot of stuff <clears throat> from some of the newer players, particularly in this kind of format. It's like a... I think these are the cards they send out with fan packs. I'm not sure, though. But this is awesome. So thank you very much, Eddie. I really appreciate it. You guys all know him. You know how great he is. Um, <clears throat> but if somehow one of you is, is new watching this out there, you need to go subscribe to Wesker Griff. All right, and then recently I was in a box break with uh, Bloodspawn80. He hosted it. Um, really good guy to work with in terms of box breaks, too. Affordably priced, great products, and um, he handles them really well. He's very fair about it. Um, so anyway, I had the Giants. We busted a few different boxes. I got a stack of base cards here. Um, you can hear my daughter in the background there. She's eating dinner and getting it all over. Look at you. All right, let me do this quick. Um, so here's some of the inserts. I got Akeem Nix out of 999, Prince Samukamara out of 999, Jernal Jernigan, rookie. Prince of Mukamara, rookie. Uh, here's an Ahmad Bradshaw parallel, which is numbered out of 250. And uh, Steve Smith, former Giant, numbered out of 100. You know, I was really upset when, when he signed with the Eagles, but it ended up being the best thing that could have happened. He went on the Eagles, a great player, didn't play. The Eagles lost, and we discovered Victor Cruz. So thank you, Steve Smith. All right, and then the hits. I did get a couple nice hits. First is a Darrell Scott autograph. Out of Topps Legends. <clears throat> kind of a strange autograph, but pretty cool. Um, and then I'm pretty psyched for this one. My first letter patch I ever pulled. Uh, Jarrell Jernigan. It's the letter A, numbered out of 400. One of the nicer hits of the break. There was one that was way sicker than this, but uh, this is definitely one of the nicer ones. So thanks so much, Bloodspawn. Uh, it was really great. I can't wait for the next one. I've already got my spot. Um, and if you guys uh, haven't been in Bloodspawn's breaks yet, haven't heard about him, don't know who Bloodspawn 80 is, uh, go check him out. He's a real cool guy. Amazing TTMs, and um, he's getting back into the cards. So if you're into cards or TTMs, you need to check him out. All right, and then finally, uh, TTMs. I don't even know how many are here. This is going back to Friday. There's not that many, really. Maybe five. Um, starting with Joe Bover. Um, really long wait on him. But uh, came out nice. Uh, card number 586. Also got Andy McGaffigan. Um, he's got the Bible inscription there. He signed three index cards. 
and he also uh, responded to my letter, kind of the way you might can think he would with uh, things like this. But uh, <clears throat> I like what his best piece of advice he ever received was, 90% of all the stuff people worry about never actually happens. I think that's pretty cool. Something to remember. Uh, and then there's the three index cards. One, two, three. Um, I also sent to Bobby Shantz once again because I had him on a uh, custom and I finally got a card of his so I sent that to him he's a great guy he also uh, provided responses to my letter and he's, he's a cool guy I like him a lot and then we come to Mr. Fred Lynn alright I saw I think Bounty331 get him back and Mark said that he had uh, wrote in the letter how he's a collector you know please you could customize it to him so I took the same approach and I didn't get it signed so I was kind of disappointed I got another one of these blue index cards so right now I'm going to offer I hear you over there I'm sorry I'll tell you what I'm going to come back with another video about this um, I think my daughter needs some more raviolis over there alright and then the last is an AWA success it's Molly Holly um She's really cool, great person, and she was a great wrestler. <clears throat> Always great characters. Here's one for Mike. Made that one out to him. And then she made all the rest of them out to me. Um, I was kind of hoping that she'd make another one out to Mike. But I think, Mike, I'm going to send you this one. And uh, you might be able to get my name off there. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, that's the recap, guys. Um, I'm expecting to come back with a couple more videos after I get this kid some more food. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Take it easy.